Hiya, good morning. Well, as you can see, I'm back at school again today. So we're working in our big poly tunnel. Now, what I want to talk to you today is about this little this little plant here. Well, it's ragwort. And ragwort is one of these things that's poisonous to stock, poisonous to horses. It grows in the fields along with them and it can grow in many places waste ground it's quite attractive looking it's a member of the groundsel family so but the one thing about it is it is extremely toxic hello you can see my little robins come in or come in and out um, anything that eats this uses quite poorly there's nothing that can tolerate it and it's one of these weeds that we're meant to eradicate it's not native in Britain it's from southern Europe where they've probably got animals that will munch it away and get rid of it. However, we have to take it out. So it's our responsibility to get rid of it. However, the sad part about it is the one thing we have, if you can come in a bit closer with the camera, please. The one thing we have that eats it is these little beasties. Now these are gorgeous looking caterpillars, but don't pick them up. And that goes the same with all caterpillars. Caterpillars can tend to have nasty substances. They squirt on your hands, irritating hairs that'll bring you out in a rash. They don't mean to be mean. All they're doing is trying to keep themselves alive. So when we've got these stripy cinnabar moth caterpillars, they're eating all of this rag ragwort, lots of ragwort, and building up all the toxins in their bodies. So these caterpillars are becoming more and more poisonous as they go along, which is great. It stops all the birds eating them and everything. Um, but it's no good if the birds don't know how poisonous they are. So what they do is they make the warning colorations, which is these orange and black stripes, which makes them gorgeous. And then it turns into a nice looking moth. Now, moths are perhaps not always nice, but this one is black and it's bright red. Absolutely beautiful little thing. You'll see it fluttering around. Completely harmless. This is really a gardener's friend because the more cinnabar moths we have, the less ragwort we have because they've eaten it all. And that's one of these things with pests and predators. Eventually they eat so much ragwort, they've got nothing left to feed on, they die out and then the ragwort comes back and it takes them a good couple of seasons to catch up again. But this thing, take it out. But it would be a shame to kill these beautiful caterpillars. Look at them, they look like the best football socks ever invented. Can you imagine supporting a team that dressed like cinnabar moths? quite scary to the opposition so look out for them when you're next in the garden they'll live on Oxford ragwort but they also live on our common groundsel which is uh, a senecio so look out for them that's Vince here on the Grojo signing off thank you